right, hey, Secrets Readers. We are back again at CDA 2022. Um, we are back, if you can't tell, at the amazing Trinov Sonus Faber Macintosh Mad VR Kaleidoscape Officina Acoustica and I believe Barco. Is that right? Yes. Uh, right. A demo home theater demo room that uh, I got to experience the first day here, and uh, we're here with the uh, the top dude who pretty much got this whole team together and got got everyone to cooperate and make something that is like way more than the sum of its parts. This is Roberto Gamba. Got to flex my Italian there. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. That's right. Uh, international business development. Yes. For Grupo Macintosh. <laughs> Roberto, come stai? How are you, sir? I'm very well. Uh, it's the last day of the show, mm -hmm. and uh, we're still queuing. I don't know uh, if uh, uh, people see it, but it's really impressive because yeah. we start uh, the first day at nine in the morning with this queue, and. Uh, it's still there, it's still there, so we are... <laughs> Says so casually, it's still there. <laughs> we are so happy, yeah, we are so oh, happy. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you experience the room, yep. and I start with the experience word, because it's what makes the difference. So, we try to bring all the best partner for create the best experience, because right. I think more and more we need to talk about uh, give to the owner, what they expect for. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we think about single products, mm -hmm. but not a kind of solution. Mm -hmm. If we bring the solution with the proper standard, with the proper things, proper brands, we can go ahead. And uh, this was the starting point for do this demo. So let's say that uh, as a Sonus Faber company, we build up a new line of speaker Mm -hmm. um, that is called Arena. Right, right. So we have the LCR, the Arena 30, we have the Arena 20 that can be LCR or... And this is the first introduction of them pretty much, right? Is, yes. Okay. Cydia is the official launch of this product. Excellent. Exactly. Right. And uh, we also introduced the new subwoofer with a new technologies there mm -hmm. that uh, I can say uh, I miss some people because uh, I know they told me, they asked me and uh, and so if you saw the configuration, it's, it's an 11, 12, 6. I was going to say, Roberto, how many subwoofers are in this room? 12. Say that again? 12. Good God. And, okay. uh, yeah, it's, uh, mm. it's a crazy stuff, but for a simple reason, we uh, use 8 on the front. Okay. So we create a kind of wave, mm -hmm. a plane wave. With this, you can get all the envelopment also on the low end in the in the all the places in the room. So right. it's a kind of different experience. Plus the subs, it's uh, way different. So a lot of articulation, mm -hmm. impact, uh, details. Mm -hmm. And this is so helpful because sometimes we cannot feel everything. In a Mac 10 scene, uh, where there are the engine, you can feel everything. Mm -hmm. Fire, everything mm -hmm. is there. Oh, yeah. So I start from the subs, but the speaker is uh, uh, a product that uh, I can only say to data because I don't like to talk too much to data because there are spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> not, uh, yeah, there are spreadsheets. That's, what, that's what spreadsheets are for. <laughs> yeah. So 90, 40 business sensitivity and 600 watt capability. So wow. uh, this is the LCR that we use, and then we have the surround that is the the other one is 92 mm -hmm. uh, sensitivity. So we stay on that line. What you bring here is uh, what we call CI5, mm. custom fidelity. So okay. we bring the history of Sonus Faber with uh, the natural sound and all the things related to the two channel world mm -hmm. into the CI world, but with the standard. So we respect the standard of the CI world, mm -hmm. but with what is the history of Sonus Faber. Right. And this is I think huge difference because uh, uh, you can feel it. You can go from uh, the home theater to the two channel areas to the multi room area with the same emotion and time bar. So right. this and is the uh, same uh, level of performance. This is same level of performance, correct? Mm -hmm. So this uh, is what about Sonus Faber. Then we have Macintosh that everybody knows. Yeah. It's well known. And in case they didn't, you can yes, see behind yeah. you. <laughs> behind me, there are a, a huge stack of uh, MC611, MC462, oh MI254. 
and uh, the MC611 are for the bed layer. So the bed layer is 600 watt each speaker. Mm -hmm. Then we use the MC462 for the subs and the DMI254 for the Atmos channel. So wow. this is the configuration. And uh, everything is handled by the Trinov processor mm, okay. that uh, is uh, uh, needed for 29 channel. Because this is the Altitude 32, right? Altitude 32 because we have 29 discrete channel. Right. And for manager, for manager also the low end, mm -hmm. we need uh, a lot of channel because uh, only for that is 12 channel. <laughs> so. I, I, that that sounds yeah. amazing to yeah. me, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because it's also difficult to do uh, all the calibration and the alignment and everything because there are a lot of things to take care of. So, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the machine did very, very well this kind of uh, uh, thing. So best management and everything mm -hmm. are very good. So let's see that, let's say that uh, I think we get both world, uh, uh, I can say high fidelity plus control plus bus management mm -hmm. blended together. All unified. And um, in the um, video side, I can say that we have the Niord of Barco, that is uh, really a, a super cool projector. Mm -hmm. I can say super cool, but I can <laughs> say more, but I like it. So, it was super cool. At the demo, yeah. it was super, super cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, then we have the Mad VR processor that helped to uh, handle the HDR mm -hmm. and everything there. Uh, we have the Seymour screen that uh, uh, is the screen that we choose for this uh, for this demo. Uh, we have the audio quest cable for mm -hmm. uh, for the for all the signal that we have in the room, and uh, we have the room that is made by Officina Acoustica that help on this uh, uh, environment because uh, it's very loud. So yeah. we need to have a proper room. Uh, cool. In a sound room, is way difficult to. Uh, the room is everything, basically. I mean, the room helps. Uh, we, uh, I can say that all the component together create mm -hmm. the things. Right. There are no, no one for me that is most important than the other. Right. We need to say that equally, we need all things that blend perfectly. Right. Because if not, we can have some issue. Because right. uh, we don't, we don't sell in this case box. Right. We sell emotion. Right. So. If you want to sell a proper emotion, you need to have everything that uh, is need to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we try with uh, all the brand there to create the, the, the right experience. This is what I can say. I hope that the people that experience enjoy and uh, let's see what's happened. Uh, well, I mean, judging by the line, uh, which hasn't stopped the, over the entire three days, and from personal experience of being in the demo, it's you guys, you and your team did a, an amazing, amazing job. It's it's one of the one of the events of the whole show, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you so much, Carlo. Not a problem. Grazie. Not a problem. Prego, prego, anytime. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Roberto. Uh, was, was there anything else? Or? Thanks to you. No problem. Thank you. And uh, I was going to say enjoy the rest of the show, but it's almost over. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank Take you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Bye.